How do you create an original logic grid puzzle? Let's walk through the steps you'd follow if you were creating this one. If you were creating this puzzle, you'd first draw a grid. The grid can be messy. It's just for you to keep track of what you're doing as you create the puzzle. This puzzle is about four merchants who are named after some historical figures associated with the Silk Road. They're transporting four different kinds of trade goods, and they're working with four different kinds of pack animals. This information belongs in a background story, and this is a good time to write that. You might think the next step is writing the clues. You could do it that way, but what I like to do is decide on the solution first, because it's easier. You can mark the solution right into the grid, so you have that visual reminder. I like to mark it with squares, like this. If your puzzle has multiple sections, make sure the solution is consistent across the sections. If Bi Sheng is transporting porcelain in one section and using mules in another section, then porcelain and mules must go with each other in the third section. Here is the secret trick for creating logic grid puzzles. Pick your clue facts before you write the clues. What are clue facts? You know how when you're solving a puzzle, there's two kinds of X's and O's? There's the X's and O's you put in first from a clue. And there's the extra X's and O's that you fill in based on the first ones. The clue facts are those first X's and O's, the ones that come straight from the clues. When you're making a puzzle, if you pick the clue facts first, it makes writing the clues much easier. To get started, pick one clue fact randomly. Let's choose Porcelain and mules go together. The solution mark already reminds us we've decided for this fact to be part of the solution. What we're doing now is making the decision that this fact will be indicated in clue 1. To remind us to use this fact when we write clue 1, we can add a 1 in the square. Now, when the solver puts that yes in from clue 1, they'll realize they can fill in the rest of that row and column. And we can do that at this point too. I like to make my fill-in marks little to make sure I don't mix them up with the clue facts. For clue two, let's choose a couple of clue facts. We can use more than one fact per clue. We'll pick horses and jade is going to be a no, and horses and paper is going to be a no. Then, I like to write twos over the x's to remind me to use them in clue two. We need to keep selecting clue facts until there are enough for the solver to find the solution. Let's put a couple of X's up here. No for Bisheng using dromedary or Bactrian camels. This lower section is almost filled in. We just need one more no in the right place. An X for Bactrian and paper, that should do it. And when we fill the rest in, it does. How about this upper section? We have only one yes clue. We can put in one or two more. How about a yes for Woody and horses? and then we fill these in. This brings us to an important idea in logic puzzle creation, using facts from some sections to get answers in other sections. The solver knows Woody was using horses, and also knows that the merchant using horses was transporting glass. So from that, the solver can figure out that Woody must have been transporting glass. Same thing with the mules. Bi Shang had the mules, and the mules were carrying porcelain. So Bi Sheng goes with porcelain. That's all the solver can do with these clue facts. To complete the puzzle, the solver will need one more clue fact. Let's tell them Darius goes with Jade. And that's enough facts to solve the puzzle. Once you've determined which facts the clues need to convey, writing the clues is easy. That's the big advantage of using clue facts to create your puzzles. What will we write for clue one? We want the solver to make an O for porcelain and mules. A clue that works could be, one merchant was using mules to transport porcelain. Clue two, we want the solver to make these two X's. A simple clue is, the horses were not carrying jade or paper. There are many ways to make the phrasing more interesting. You can get ideas on my video, 25 ways to write logic puzzle clues. You can turn the rest of the clue facts into clues however you like. 
I threw in some bonus information about geography because it might be interesting or educational. We could add geographical locations as another category if we wanted to make this puzzle bigger. Now it's time to make your puzzle look nice. You can hand draw it or you can use any graphic software to make a printable copy. Make sure you test your puzzle. First, solve it yourself. Then ask friends to solve it and give you their feedback. Once you've incorporated their feedback, you're done.